today we got Steve Feiner, CEO and founder of A Better Floors. He used to work at Google and in consulting before he started his startup. Thank you for uh, joining us, Steve. Thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. You're really shaking up the floral world, and we want, brought you in to help our audience, those who are watching, to understand what it takes, what kind of skill sets you developed, you learned to become a modern day warrior. In three sentences, just share with us, who are you, who do you help, and how do you do it? So hi, I'm Steve Feiner. I'm the CEO and co-founder of A Better Florist. We make it easy to send love. And who do we help? Everyone, right? So from men who want to share a little happiness with the, the women of their lives to women who just want to make their day better, make anyone else's day better. Can I ask then, you went from Google and consulting into the floral business. How did you go from that transition? How did that help you actually to become a, you know, the successful florist you are today? Who knows how successful we are, but uh, we're, we're fighting every day. Um, yeah, Google was, Google was an amazing experience. I, I, I was there for just over three years. I, I learned to be surrounded by just amazing people and the, their experiences and their positivity really reflected positively on me. But I, I, I think even prior to in my career in terms of in consulting, I, you learn this logical skill set and this, this wonderful framework to process and handle any sort of problem. Then even before that in college and in university days, um, a hustle, a drive, a, a way to, to handle or accomplish any single problem. So I, I think Google was, was wonderful, but I, I learned throughout my, my life. So would you say Google helped you a lot in applying those hustle? Absolutely. Learning inside the corporation, you know, problem solving is I think your title, was it? So. Yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm proud to be a problem solver. Um, so they, that, that was exactly my title at Google, and um, do whatever it takes, right? So we, we take a, a linear logical skill set that I, I had the pleasure of learning in consulting, um, and you take that sort of hustle and drive, um, and you apply that at Google in this large co corporation with tremendous resources, and you just help people solve problems and produce amazing results, or try to produce amazing results. Can you give an example of something you know, that you felt was very difficult to solve, and because of your experience, or just the way you thought helped you get through it? So even right now, with, with flowers, the, the, the flower supply chain is it's convoluted. There are many mm. middlemen. So how, do, how does one fix that, right? So who do we talk to? How do we learn? Uh, what are the path? What's the what farms do we deal with? How do we make that sort of process easier? When it comes to dealing with people of different cultures, what was it? What's the problem that you often find, and how did you kind of resolve it? I think people are wonderful, right? Like I I inherently think that people are amazing, and I I, I smile at everyone. I'm just. Uh, a friendly person, mm. right? So you might not have grown up where I grew up, or you might not have um, seen the same movies that I've seen, but at, at the end of the day, I believe if I share good emotions, you're gonna share good emotions back. So that inherent belief makes any situation a lot easier. You know, today you're an entrepreneurial warrior, right? Going out, striking out, doing something that's quite scary. Five years ago, 10 years ago, who was Steve Finer? Who was a corporate warrior in consulting or in Google? <laughs> Um, I, I'd say 10 years ago, I, I was probably a, a stupid kid, right? I, I just turned 27, so 10 years ago, I was, I was 17. I was probably just going to college, super immature, trying to figure out what I wanted in life. Um, five years ago, I think I was in strategy consulting and figuring out, um, wow, this is cool. I'm a 21-year-old kid, 22-year-old kid helping these companies grow and uh, working for these really big-name clients. and on. Do we buy this company doing due diligences? So it was a, a pretty incredible process. And throughout the entire time, I was just trying to evolve as a human being. I don't think I am the same person I was five years ago. I certainly am not the same person I was 10 years ago. And I think five years from now, I, I will be a completely different person. So Steve Finer is someone who always evolves. Fantastic, fantastic. Can you share with us maybe one of the toughest situations you faced during your transition, transformation between a consultant, Google, and now uh, a better florist? So now, I, one of the things I, I've realized is in any sort of entrepreneurial endeavor, um, first off, it, it's amazing, but the, the highs are insanely high and the lows are mm. ridiculously low. Yeah. Um, so I, I remember one conversation in particular with the, the gentleman. I, I, I ended up telling him everything about what I was doing, what I was doing, um, and he's like, hey, let me get this straight. So you left Google. You don't have a supply chain, you don't have mm -hmm. a team, you don't have a website, you don't have, you don't have anything, right? <laughs> but he thought it was a good idea to quit your job. And I, I just had to be there and say like, yup. And he looked at me and he's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and for that entire day, for that entire next day, I 
I just had to live with that, right? But then you, you, you bounce back, you take the action necessary, and you do whatever it takes to, to make it happen. Would you say that, that individual helped drive you to continue <laughs> moving forward? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've, I've told that story before because that man drives me. <laughs> um, I have no idea who he is, but um, that situation motivated me to get my butt up and start making a difference, right? Like, um, nothing worth doing is easy. Mm. And this gentleman mm. motivated me to, to get my ass in gear and start going down that path. A lot of that must be kind of self-management though, right? I mean, it's not easy when you're doing your, your own journey. How do you do that? How do you maintain that? How do you keep that focus and that drive and that motivation when fellows like this come in and you know try to break you down? Do the best we can, to be honest. There, there is no secret sauce. It's, I, I, I happen to be blessed with wonderfully supportive friends and amazing family. Um, like I, I, I have a wonderful support system around me, which certainly makes my life 400 times easier. Mm. But there, there really is no silver bullet here. Like there are times it's gonna suck. There are times it feels like you're getting stabbed and mm. stabbed and stabbed and stabbed and again and again and again. But that, that's, that's the beauty. There's, there's this Elon Musk quote, um, who's a personal, I'm, I'm a huge fan, um, about entrepreneurship is like eating glass, staring into an abyss. And um, I didn't know how true that was until you do it. Yeah. But on the flip side, right, it's like every day is, the best day of your life or can be the best day of your life because hmm. it's just it's just an amazing experience okay how can you say uh, your past helped you prepare for these uh, tribulations if you will yeah I mean I, everything I've done um, so I, I, I consider myself very very blessed right like I, I have amazing parents I have amazing friends um, who allowed me to go to a good school and now I I didn't have to deal with tremendous amount of debt so I had the flexibility to, to do anything I wanted after mm. in my career and um, in strategy consulting it was it was a dream job and I, you learn this sort of process and then at Google it was a great job right and you learn this sort of way of dealing with a, a whole lot of other people and um, I, I, I can s I, I take away from each of these these elements in terms of dealing with people in terms of positivity in terms of self-awareness mm. um, there's an entire module at Google um, Google it, they don't make anyone do it, but they, they offer this class. It's called Search Inside Yourself. Okay. Um, and the entire thing is about self-awareness. So Google literally okay. sent me to Sydney, Australia for a week to study meditation. Um, and I'm incredibly blessed to, to have done that, right? I, I've learned so much about myself just, just through that process. That's, that's a very uncommon investment that uh, big MNCs generally just don't do like that. That's amazing, actually. I guess, as you said, really helped shape you and get you ready for your entrepreneurial journey. Absolutely. I, I don't know if that helped get me ready for specifically this, but I, I think that, that made me a better person. Hmm. Um, like one of my, my personal goals is if I can get better every single day of the year, I mean like the compounding interest on that is incredible, yeah. right? Um, so if I can get 1% better every single day, okay. and in those few days I got a lot better, and in the moments where you really just get your ass kicked, you get a lot better every single time. And, for me, like, that is the silver lining. Reflecting on what we discussed, your past and where you are today, what kind of skill sets do you think aspiring modern day warriors uh, are lacking or should develop to make sure that, let's say, they stay in the corporate world, they do their own entrepreneurial journey, what is it that they should work on? Let me just caveat everything where, again, I, I don't think there's a silver answer or a silver bullet here. I, I'm, I'm a consultant, right? I'm, I'm always gonna answer everything with, it depends. <laughs> um, but like that, that being said, I, I think there's only so much you can truly learn in the corporate world. Um, so one of the, the, theme, the themes of, of my career, and I, I've spoken with a lot of other individuals who face a similar journey, is I, I just didn't feel like I was ready. Mm. Um, I didn't think uh, I, I needed more. I needed more analytical. I needed more experience. I needed more management. I, I needed a bigger contact list. I needed more, right? Um, and why, right? Um, so I, I, I think it was just mainly about like confidence and realizing that like, I'm never going to be truly ready to, to tackle this next step. You're always going to feel a little bit insecure or mm. like a gigantic bit insecure. Um, but that confidence in yourself and believing that you'll just be able to, to solve anything and maybe that framework of solving any sort of problem, that, that's, that's the thing. Okay. So kind of like self-management, if you will, kind of learning to deal with that voice in your head that you will never get enough, right? You want to absorb, 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 but in reality, it's just getting out there, getting your hands dirty and 
Absolutely. And like, I, I think of this sort of mathematically, so I'm in, just envisioning a graph here. Um, and while on the one hand you're learning more and getting more experience and whatever, um, as you get older, your family life cycle stage changes. Mm. Mm. Um, so I, I, I'm 27. I don't have kids. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have bills to pay or mouths to feed. Mm. I, I can have this moment in my life to go after the thing that I absolutely need to do. But if I was 37, would that be the case? If mm. I was 47, would that be the case? I might know more, but I might not have the ability to, to use it. Mm. So I, I only have this opportunity once in my life, twice in my life, what it, whatever it is. Um, only you can figure out what is this opportunity to you. But it's time's running out, right? Okay, cool. And if I can ask you three actual items that our viewers can do today to develop that skill set, self-management, uh, what would that be? Meditation. So just mm. broadly self-awareness is a fantastic thing. Um, I, I learn about myself every, every single day. Um, two is not just self-awareness. So the second one I, I'd go with it's just being thankful, just mm. being grateful in terms of the positive energy and understanding that the world's not out to get you. Like, it's a good world, right? Like, mm. we, we have all these wonderful things all around us all the time. And the third thing is consulting, to be honest. <laughs> um, just an analytical, regimented, problem-solving minded skill set. I, like, that one's not super easy to, to think through. But there's a wonderful book. Um, I can't remember who wrote it, but it's called Case in Point. Okay. Um, and it just talks about how to solve consulting frameworks. Fantastic. Well, thank you for sharing. Any shout outs you want to make out to uh, anyone who might be watching just for fun? My email is steve at betterflourish.com. If I can help in any single way, please feel free to reach out. And I look forward to making your day. Cool. Thank you very much, Stephen. Pleasure. <laughs>